going on people mr. Ellis here glass city cichlids and this is a follow-up video to my last video when I asked y'all for help and I want to give a shout out to let me show you how to stunt for helping me with my problem and if y'all don't know about let me show you how to stunt I'm gonna leave a link to his page down below y'all make sure y'all go by and check him out man this tanks is official man like nice tanks nice tanks but yeah so he uh, swung by my page and told me that what was growing on my tank was called freshwater hydra and he said it might have been introduced to my tank from the japa moss that I got rid of so I called uh, the fish store that sold me the java moss and told them that they java moss introduced hydra to my fish tank they didn't want to own up to it they kept she kept trying to tell me that it was some something called planaria but I looked up planaria and what I have don't look nothing like planaria but she wasn't trying to hear it so screw her but yeah so I did a little research and come to find out that I, the way you get rid of it is by increasing your your heat to a hundred or something degrees or whatever but I don't I'm not for that because I really ain't got nowhere to put my fish I thought I was about to put them in this tank right here but uh, I don't even trust this tank got this tank out of somebody basement about two weeks ago uh, it's leak proof I washed it out but I still don't trust it now with my African cichlids I'd rather put some tester fish in there first so anyway blew by that idea then I came or somebody said something about hook some wires up to a battery and put it in the water man that sounded stupid as hell so I came across somebody that said to use safeguard because it has uh, it, won't, it won't focus but anyway it has something in it fin benzodazole fin ben dazzle dissolve whatever the fuck but anyway it has that in it and I guess that kills off uh hydra freshwater hydra so I went and got two grams of this two grams for seventeen or eighteen dollars can't remember and the directions is to add point one gram for every ten gallons and then after three days do a water change and they also said you want to dissolve the stuff before you put it in your tank so that's what I'm doing now I got I got my grams my point grams that's 0 0.7 0 0.6 point seven grams uh, don't ask me how I weighed it up that's irrelevant but I'm about to put that inside this with some fish tank water and let that dissolve I read somewhere on the internet that that can take quite a while up to like three days even and they said even after the three days it went all dissolved so I don't know if I'm gonna wait that long for it to dissolve but I'm gonna get that started and hopefully it works and I'll be back with an update in a couple days I guess oh yeah they say after you after you put the stuff in your tank you put it in your tank then three days later you do a, a 30 to 50 percent water change and after you still have hydra then dose it again they say it should take like two doses at the most uh but yeah and they said it all also works for planaria if you happen to have planaria which is some worm like looking things which i don't have but yeah pretty much safeguard we're about to try it out and we're gonna see what it do Mr. Ellis here, Glass City Cichlids, and I'm out.